songs there knocker really good choice johnny be good good stuff right i mean when that came on knocker back in, in, in the time of that came what, what what was the date on that song you know when it came out knocker I'm gonna say 50 five, 55 56, right around there like that. that had to be had to have been so incredibly surreal yes. for everyone to hear that when yes. that came out because that's so different than anything you ever heard at that time absolutely Ab- ab- absolutely so innovative so the energy the lyrics just just it all just yeah worked man he took the blues and he, and he created something yeah. brand new there's no rolling stones no nope. without chuck berry no nope. there's no rolling stones there's no bob dylan no nope. you know springsteen says it, it pays homage to him he is the you look at that and that's like he's the my dingling yeah. guy okay. too right uh, yeah, ding, that yeah. guy sings the My Dinglings. I mean, and he's been such an influence for so many musical artists. I mean, I don't know. You guys know who Peter Tosh is? He did a version. Absolutely, he did a version of Johnny Be Good. I mean, he just across so many boards. I don't know if you guys ever heard this before. Yeah. This Damn, is his I'm version of Johnny Be Good. Let it run. Let it run. I love me. Maybelline, good. Sweet Little Sixteen, I mean, just just across all the boards. That's good. Stuff. Bam! Oh, but unfortunately, it. he was African American, so he couldn't get on the radio. He couldn't, he couldn't, you know, just make the money that he was supposed to make. But any rock and roller worth his salt, you ask him who the king of rock and roll is, they will tell you without a doubt, Chuck Berry. Right, right. I got you. All right. Well, we got a call in the line, Renee. We our phones going okay? We should be good. Who we got? Who we got in the line here? Phone caller. Oh, dog. Oh, Diz, can you hear me? Dizzle. Is he there? Is, is the Dizzle on there? I could hear him a second ago. You had Come on, Renee. You, you got on one on job, man. Yeah, he, let, let him let him hand. He gets he gets flu, fl, like flustered, flustered easily, you know? especially at the big bong rip. Yeah, he just smoked a f- <laughs> bong rip on the half, dude. That's why he put that job in. I got a weird me. echo from you guys. There, there, you, go. there you are. Can What's you up, us? man? What's going on, guys? How are you? We're doing fantastic. How are you, sir? I'm fantastic. But you know what, Josh? You still haven't fixed that thing. I'm trying to register. I don't think you really want me there. Oh I my. don't think you really want me there. Don't worry I about that. I tried sneaking a different email. I put a false email in there to try to get through <laughs> the system because I'm number two. So I try to set it up, and, I'm, and I still can't get through. Oh, I need I'm to get through the tournament. I can't get through. I forgot to take the block off anyone that has the number two label on it. So <laughs> let me... Uh, Take that off there. I'm sorry about that. Hey, don't you worry about a thing, my brother. You're playing yeah, with you're me and you're playing of. with Blackout, and we're going to have a damn effing good time, man. You just show up Absolutely, at man. the golf course. I'll have your clubs well, ready I just, for you. I just want to give you a shout out because, uh, yeah, I know Knocker said it was uh, easier for you guys for me to register online, so I just wanted to get it done before I get out there. I know we got a lot of time, but we, we I saw you. online. You guys were almost sold out, so I got nervous. I was like, wait a minute, let me get mine in there. I got to get mine in there. <laughs> hey, there's always a place for you, my brother, man. Yeah. We were sold out. You Thank still you, be brother. playing. We already got the petition. Hey, shout out to Knocker. My shout of the week goes to Knocker for recognizing Chuck Berry's con- contributions to music. All I right. thought that was an awesome, you know, out that you did, and the, and the song was great, obviously. You know, one of the rock and roll legends, and, you know, I really appreciated that. You giving credit to him for for his his contribution to music that was awesome. Absolutely, that, that was easy. It, it is what it is, my man. Now, you know? oh dog, I, we're going to be getting it later in the show, but I I want to uh, very much get your opinion on this subject here. So if you have a minute, um, with yeah, what, yeah, I got a minute. With what's going on in the NBA, man? Because I know you're you're a big NBA guy. You follow it. Um, with the players, NBA stars sitting out now, we've got you know pe- you know the media blaming on LeBron. Uh, it's become such a big issue now. ESPN's pissed off because they've played so many billions of dollars for the TV contract. Numbers are down twenty and thirty percent everywhere across the board. 
What is the NBA going to do to fix this? I know Adam Silver came out and said he's going to hand down some punishments, but where do you draw the line here? Is is it? Do you need to shorten the season? Do you need to, you know take out some games? Or need to be maybe if a player doesn't play, they get zero stats for that game, so it does affect their stat sheet because that's one of the main reasons why they are sitting out. Uh, what, what do you do right now if you're the NBA? I don't know that there's much you can do because these guys, they're thinking long-term. It's the regular season. Unfortunately, the regular season games don't have as much value. Now, I agree that as a business partner, you want if it's a Saturday night game, okay, you got to be there if you can. If you can play, you can play. You got to get out there. But if you, know, you want to take a Tuesday night off or a Wednesday night off, but on a Friday, Saturday night primetime game, you got to give you know the people what they want. Now, I think it's a bigger issue because, like you said, because of ESPN. ESPN is obviously ticked off because back to back Saturday nights, you know, they lost Curry, um, Clay Thompson, and, right. and Draymond Green. Obviously, um, the Spurs, Durant's out with yeah, injury, Spurs, and then the Spurs next weekend yeah, Spurs, they lost Sam. Love. Yeah, right. It, the next weekend they lose Love, LeBron, and Kyrie. So you got back to back weekends where they can't promote the stars. The other thing that I found interesting, and tell me how you guys feel about this. They said that one of the reasons why the NBA was ticked off is because of uh, they, they didn't follow the protocol. The Cavs didn't follow the protocol to let the league know that um, they were going to sit those players out. Mm-hmm. Now, how does that relate to the gambling aspect of it? Because I thought that was uh, – Ghost brought that up on our show last night. He said it also affects the gambling because if minutes before Absolutely. you find out good point. that the Cavs are not playing the big three, then wait a minute, the Lions have got to shift on that, and that's got to be a big – so I would imagine that somebody in Vegas is calling Adam Silver and saying, hey, man, how are you just going to have these guys sit out? And now we got to move our lines. we got to take a bath on this thing. Damn Skippy. Damn yep. Skippy. I agree. So, all right, we're going to get to it later in the show. But, thank, hey, Odar, I just wanted to get your insight on that and one of your thoughts. So I appreciate that. Uh, you got Besides Knocker's Shot of the Week, you got anything else you want to throw out there? Hey, listen, I just want to tell you I'm excited. I'm looking forward to coming out there. Getting a couple of days off, hanging out with you guys, Hell playing yeah, golf. Hell you yeah. know, I got I got my golf outfit already. Yeah. <laughs> you know, wait, 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 like, wait, 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 sir. There's a rule on this show. If you've been listening from day one, men do not have Wear outfits. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Call whatever you want. <laughs> I got my golf gear. I got my golf yeah, gear. See, there I, you I, go. You. I got my duds. Like but I'm going like, to look like a million bucks. I'm going to tell you that right now. That's what I'm talking Thank about. You, sir. Well, that dude, is what I'm talking about. We are, oh, seriously, we're all looking for you. I'm going to need all the help I can get, Naka. I don't even know if there's enough help on that course for me. But I'm, I'm going to hit him. <laughs> can I ask I, I you? I love to hit him. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Man, uh, do you actually even play golf? Listen. I used to, we used to play. I don't want no used to. I used to be. I don't want no used to. I used to (laughs) mortgages. I did mortgages for three years. And Uh we used to play every Friday afternoon. Okay. For about three years I played. All right. I haven't played in. (laughs) And uh, I probably suck worse now than I did then. But I still, I still remember. This is how addictive golf is. I still remember the first ball I hit straight. It was on Rutgers Cross, the seventh hole of the part three. So this when I is, hit that uh, ball straight, I, I was like, ooh, that felt good. So th- <laughs> this is not going to be totally, completely alien to you. Now, what about Blackout, man? Do you know if he's actually ever played? I don't know if he ever swung his sticks. I don't know. I'd have to ask him. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I, actually, I actually have golf clubs, believe it or not. There we Damn. go. There we go, son. Well, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm know. not bringing them, but I have them. That's I haven't touched them in about five years, but I have them. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, my brother. I got I got a bag and I got some clubs. We're gonna throw in there, and we're he's all gonna use my little, clubs. He's got the little plastic so, set. That you, you know I, what I'm you know. saying? Yeah, I got some uh, Bam Bam hey, Pebbles yeah. and Bam Bam golf looking clubs. Set. To it. Yeah, we're looking forward to it too. Oh, dog, you take care, brother. Here, pimp your show real quick before you take off. All right, man. We come on Tuesday nights from nine to eleven. That's Eastern Standard Time. We are called In the Game, and the website is WBKS the number one dot com. Stands for Best Kept Secrets Entertainment. And you come on, we do the best. We do it East Coast style. You do it West Coast style, we do it East Coast style. Right. And you guys we just keep, love talking yep. sports. We're passionate just like you guys. And uh, trying to trying to follow your lead, Josh. I'm trying to learn from you. Every week I look at you and I say, hey, I'm going to steal that from him. I'm going to steal that from him. <laughs> Seriously, hey, I'm going to tell you a story, a quick story, Josh. Yeah. The other day, last two weeks ago, I actually sat down and watched you on YouTube. And I, I clocked everything you did. 
from minute to minute to minute to minute. And I said, I'm going to structure my show better and I'm going to be better because I really appreciate your show and I love what you guys do. So I'm, I'm learning dude. from you, brother. You gave, me a, hard, you gave me a hard on right chubby, now, dude. Chubby, chubby yeah, yeah, nation right there. You gave me a hard right on there. right now, bro. Woo! Give I me a pre- cigarette. Well, I appreciate that, dude. And you again, cigarette, Renee? Again, you guys can uh, find... I really do appreciate it, man. I, I, it makes me Very feel sweet. good. Uh, but you can, you can find Knocker hey, man, on that show, too. Hey, keep doing what you're doing. I got a lot of respect for you guys. And I love you, and I can't wait to see you guys in, uh, at the end of April. All right, yeah, man, so we take dumb. care. Thanks for the gift, too, by the way. That was awesome. Hey, man, our pleasure. Yeah. We really enjoyed sending it, so enjoy great. it. All right, thank you. Congratulations. It's hey, going to be a hard one. Don't be <laughs> adverse to bringing another bottle of that scotch, okay? Don't be adverse to traveling with a bottle of that scotch. That's all I'm saying. You know, I'm not asking for anything, but you know. <laughs> We're gonna bring, I'm bringing something different. I'm going to bring something different this time. Right. It ain't going to be Johnny Walker. But I got something else I want to bring. All right, right the so purple. I hope you enjoy. You gonna right. bring the purple? <laughs> <laughs> All, All right, right, brother. You take All care. Guys, I'll catch you next week. All right, All right my brother. I love black people. That's in the game, man. He hosts in, in the, the game, game and, and they do it East Coast style, man. Uh, my also, favorite show, also known as Number Two on the show. <laughs> That's right. All right, knock. Uh, let's get into shot of the week here. Uh, we just got through O Dogs. We'll get to yours here. What do you got? Well, obviously Chuck Berry. Yep. Okay. Uh, shot of the week also for the United States playing tonight in the uh, WBC finals. That's a good thing. Um, and you know what? This is going to be so totally out of left field. You're not even going to know how I came up with this. I'm giving a shot of the week to Ryan Leaf. What? An uh, article came out in the, in the Los Angeles Times about what he's done and what he is doing with his life. He has turned it around. He has accepted everything that happened. He is open about it, his addiction, his problems, this and that and the other thing. And he counsels at-risk youth as to what can go wrong, what what you need to do to not have happen to you what happens to me. He goes up and faces the music at that. NFL camps where they introduce – you know, Danny White, 15 years in the league, Super Bowl appearances. The, this guy, 22 years in the league. And Ryan Lee, five years. You know, and everybody knows he's the biggest bust in the history of the NFL. But he stands up and he faces it. He faces all the things that he did wrong. And he tells you why and what was going on in his life. I commend that absolutely to, to the humbleness to not quit, not overdose, not blame everybody else, to finally put your feet down and become a man. Very impressed All right. with what he's doing right now. I can so appreciate big shout that. out to Ryan Leaf. All right, that, on I did that. not expect that. And my shit of the week is Nova and Duke. Oh. Merry Christmas! Shitter was full! All over. Shitter was full of Dookie fans. <laughs> fans. Dookie. Yeah, what do you got? My shot of the week goes out to opening day starting on April the 3rd. Yeah, Can't wait man. for baseball season. Are you season. going to opening day? Except I am not. I have too much shit going on. Okay. Uh, two more weeks of bachelorhood. Oh, yes. Yes, happening April 9th, so getting closer is just around All the corner. Right. So, shout and out I'll play to that. that for this. Correct. Yeah. Gonna be dying just a little bit every single day, bro. My other shot goes out to Irvin Smolinski. Do you guys know Smolinski? who Irvin Smolinski is? It sounds no. like a uh, Olympian or something. No. In Animal House? This is Irvin Smolinski. He's a 94-year-old World War vet that won $300,000 from the Michigan State Lottery on his yeah, 94th baby. birthday, yeah. dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's fantastic. Nice. Shot of the week goes out to that guy. Yeah, that's Rock cool as shit his right 94th there. 94th birthday, wins $300,000. What do you do if you're that guy? Because you don't have long right? to live. You what don't do you have do? long to live. So you oh, give it to family, dude. You you live as much as you can. Go get, get some blow. Get family. F that. Go, I'm go get the blow hottest hookers. chick at the bunny ranch. It's not Absolutely. Even, like, but your ding dong's not even going to work, dude. Who cares? Pump those blue pills. Who I don't cares? Care. Yeah, I don't, who cares? Just stand there naked. Yeah, I'm yeah, good. Right? Like, yeah, who just even cares? Just ain't seen, on it. Ain't yeah. seen yeah. that in a minute. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> drive like the fastest car. I'm just gonna go balls out. Just go balls out with that. Do you think dude. like when we're 90, we're gonna be listening to gangster rap? You'd be like, yeah, <laughs> shit, but hoes and tricks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You think we'll be like listening to I'll be listening to rock and roll. Yeah. I'll be listening uh, to rock for sure, good man. Stuff. Absolutely, <laughs> that's good stuff. Absolutely, I'm not a rap guy, but I will be listening to. We'll my have music arguments forever. like when we're older. Be like. Tupac was better than Biggie. <laughs> no, I say Biggie was better than oh, Tupac. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. I bet your Jello that Tupac was better. <laughs> <laughs> I bet my dentures 
right, now I have my shot of the week. I got a couple here. My first one is go to Mari Cooper. Not only is he right. just fantastic, got paid, great receiver, but right. he bought his mom a new car and Absolutely. a new house, b knock That's just, you can't beat that, man. I'm so still cheers. waiting for mine. <laughs> you might be in your grave when that happens, but it'll be coming. It'll right? be a long ass uh, way. <laughs> <laughs> got a better chance of getting laid I'm this just, weekend. I'm just going to line, out, I'm huh? gonna line his grave with Monopoly houses. You're balling now, Dad. <laughs> you got you. All right. Also, hey, now you <laughs> afford four hotels. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, knocker. Also, my next shot's going to go the up race for... race car always <laughs> Do you know who Grayson Murray is? No. Oh. He's on the PGA Tour. Okay. Grayson Murray. He's a rookie this year. He's missed five straight cuts. Nice. And he's only made four cuts in the last 11 events this season. Okay. But that's not stopping him, knocker. Let's throw that picture up. You got him. He's Grayson, Allen, right, or Grayson Murray. The blue right, right above. Go up. Left. Why can I see it right why can I see it from here, I'm Knocker? For a basketball why, player. Why, why can I see it from he here? He said golf. It's labeled with his name, and you I can see it from fucking 20 feet. Grayson Murray, Knocker. Public okay. education system. Public education. <laughs> He's got a little more motivation to win this week. Why uh, is that? Trying to earn himself, because whoever wins this week in the tournament gets an automatic Masters. bid into the Masters. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, he tweeted out, Knocker, hey, Lindsay Payless. As we know, she follows his Twitter account. Mm-hmm. If I win next week in Houston, will you be my caddy in the par three tournament at the Masters? Yeah. You know, just one of those tweets, those hot sure. chicks, right? Sure. And if you guys don't know who Miss Lindsay Palis is, um, can you please throw a couple pictures of her, Renee? Because if I get to see this at the Masters, caddy knocker? Bobby! Um, that's just good stuff, right? God bless America. Well, Lindsay decided... God bless America. She said okay. Really? Yeah. Good for her. She said okay. So everybody, let's all root for Grayson Layout Murray this weekend at the Houston Allen. Open. I might go lay a Come fitty. On. Come on. I, I might just go lay a fitty right? on Grayson I Allen. Mean, right? If you ha- there's no way greater motivation. Right? My God. If anybody this weekend's motivated. It's him, him right, Knocker? Grayson <laughs> Murray. She gets my shot of the week because I want him right. to have a good one. Next up here, Knock. Now, this is a sport we haven't talked about since probably since the Olympics, Knocker, is a ski jump. Right, I love well, that. A record, I love the ski jump. A record was broken this past week, Knocker, by uh, Robert Johansson, where he launched himself an incredible 253 meters, Knocker. That is the equivalent of 277 yards, almost three football fields. Yes. Throw the video up, Renee. You have it. This is insane, Knocker. It is. It For is. For a person to fly through the air that Far and land it is incredible. Propelled only by... Yes, by, you have. If I have to pick it out, it says 277 yards and it's skier jumping through the air. Right, propelled by nothing but gravity. Nothing but gravity. Why did I... I picked it out again! <laughs> He's never smoking during the break ever again. Ever again. Look at this knocker. It's like a freaking rocket. Lands that sucker. He lands in the shrubs, the landing shrubs, the point of reference shrubs. Absolutely. The announcers are great. It's in another language, but they're just great. Oh, they're just like Super Bowl. There you go. I don't even care. I don't even know what they're saying, but it's fantastic to listen to. Here he goes. Oh, Kraft, he moved the Österreich hat hier das bislang einzige Mannschaftsfliegen vor einigen Jahren. You want me to translate? Can we translate? Gas, gas, gas. Gas, gas, gas. Oh, 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 Eine weitere Verbesserung des Weltrekords von Stefan Kraft jetzt gewesen sein. Das ist ja ein great. Und der steht ihn auch. Die Hände waren nicht im Schnee. Wie hoch awesome. ist die Weite? 253,5. Gratulation. Bist du wahnsinnig. Can we translate? Yes. God, I, uh, please. Look at that fucker fly! <laughs> <laughs> If he was in the Luftwaffe, we'd have won World War II! Oh my God. That's what he's saying, man. <laughs> man, that dude flew. Unbelievable, <laughs> man. I love that stuff. I just absolutely love it. Don't I mean it's I good love the stuff, jump, right? It's good stuff, absolutely. So good, knock. All right, and uh, lastly here, um, I'm going to give my uh, another uh, sh- a shot up to the USA uh, baseball team. They're going to be playing uh, Puerto Rico in the finals of the World Baseball Classic. Tonight. Um, that is going. That's tonight, right? Yep, going on. So uh, sh- shout out to them. And my shit of the week goes to War Machine. <laughs> Oh, Throw the picture up a War Machine. What he talk did. About this, I found uh, a guilty on 29 counts of kidnapping to solve his ex girlfriend. Um, 
just absolutely ridiculous. Brutal. I mean, you just like you can look at the story on our website, but guy gets a shit of the week. I mean, you just don't hit women. Brutal. It's just ridiculous. So you got some shots on Twitter. I tweet? got one from uh, Disturbed Smile. Shout of the week goes to my boss for donating a framed autographed Earl Campbell jersey for my daughter's raffle fundraiser. Very cool. Nice. Like Very that. cool. All right, Naka. Let's play the shot song. Here we go. Ah, so good. That is so good. Well, nothing. This I think that this new segment should follow. Ah, that, sounded yeah, that sounded yeah really <laughs> weird. We should have a segment called "Sex or Shots," right? Yeah. Oh God, sex or shots. Yeah, and I'll play those. Oh God, we'll have to guess. I like it. I like sex it. Sex or shots. Bring it next week. Okay. <laughs> All right, Knocker. Yeah. Well, this is a new segment on the show where I like to call. WTF news. Okay. Figure out what that means, okay? The last word you my, could throw uh, it up for me, Renee, pop. as we lead into this. And this is the intro I, that I've kind of came up with. I'm going to tweak it, but here we go. This is the intro. What the fuck news? Wow. We were sent out here to do a story. To do a story about what? Uh, as you can see, there's construction underway here. Uh, they've dug out a little bit. There's water has accumulated. Traffic's backed up. In a city the size of Houston, there's always traffic. So what's the big fucking deal? What the fuck are we doing out here? I ask you, what in the fuck are we doing here? What the fuck are we doing? So what's the big fucking deal? What the fuck are we doing? Yeah, you know you're going to be jamming to that in your car. That's going to be stuck in everybody's head, Knocker. <laughs> That's awesome. You know that is as That's we get awesome. into what the fuck news. All right, I'm going to tweak it a little right, bit, but you like it. it. All right. Let's do it. All right, Knock. Now, first up here, um, Knocker, what's the biggest, I think, size meal of chicken you can get at KFC? What do you think it is? Like a 20 piece? Like a 20 piece bucket? Like a yeah. 20 piece bucket, yeah. probably. Something probably like the that. biggest bucket you can get, right? Sure. Well, after seeing this chicken, you can get a 200 piece bucket <laughs> at KFC. Have you seen this thing, Knocker? And what the fuck news? Look at this beast of a chicken! That's oh, incredible! Crap. That is prehistoric. That is insane. If you guys could check out the video on our website, we have it playing the video right now. Knocker, that is not. that. What the fuck is that? I That's just, what. What the fuck? I want to hear the cluck. Bark! Bark! I mean, can you talk about what the hens are making the noise when he's doing them he's railing? Go, he's railing the hens. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> My God! <laughs> what the fuck is that? That ain't no chicken McNugget right there. That man. ain't no chicken nugget if I ever seen one. My man, God, knocker. That right, is knock. awesome. Put a saddle on that bitch. <laughs> That's a huge bit. <laughs> That's a huge bit. That's a huge bit. That's a huge bit. That's a huge bit. That's right. <laughs> that should, she should just wear the name to that chicken. Just be right. like, That's a hu- just right over the you know the chuck where it sleeps. Right. That's a huge bitch. Seriously, if Carl's Jr. ever gets that chicken and they make a commercial, it should just be like, That's a huge bit. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get the that's a huge bitch meal with uh, with gravy, coleslaw, family meal? That's a huge bitch. That's the new, that's the new value meal at KFC. That's a huge bitch. That's a huge a, bitch. I take, I take a gallon of honey sauce for the dipping yeah. on that one. <laughs> they just hand you the gallon of ranch. Yeah, can I get the gallon of ranch? I can just please? see that. I can just see that being delivered to Fred Flintstone's car. And oh, it's yeah. When they deliver oh, yeah. that nuggets with the tipping. Can you on, imagine on the French bags car? that you have to transfer between the drive through window and your car? You're the guy behind, like, what the fuck? Right. He got the 200 piece, man. Oh, man. You got some paleontologist behind the Burger yeah. King. Whoa! <laughs> I know. Don't move. Look what I found. Seriously. God, it's like a raptor. What the fuck is that? All right, Knocker. Next up, what the fuck news? Shaq has joined the train with Kyrie Irving that right. they both are now flat earth truthers, Knocker. Really? Now, you didn't know what this was before the show. You didn't know I these didn't, people well, existed? I didn't know there was an organization called the Flat Earth. Earth truthers. Well, do you want to know why Shaq? It, only Shaq would come up with this reason why he believes that the Earth is still flat. Let's Knocker, hear here this. we go. That's the ones you got to live with. This is true. You know, some people yeah. like it, some people don't. But you know, we'll see where it takes us. What did you make of the Kyrie stuff? I don't. It's, it's true. The, 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 what? Uh, the Earth is flat. Shaq, what are you talking about? <laughs> the Earth is flat. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's yes, not. Yes, it is. No, Listen, it's not. There's three ways to manipulate the mind. 
What you read, what you see, and what you hear. Okay. Conspiracies. In school, first thing they teach us is, oh, Columbus discovered America. But when he got there, it was some uh, uh, fair-skinned people with the long hair smoking out of peace pipes. So what does that tell you? <laughs> Columbus didn't discover America. <laughs> he found where some so, other people already lived. I drive from coast to coast, and this is <laughs> flat to me. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, that's I, the dumbest no, thing you've I ever don't. said. I drive from it's Florida. It's the dumbest thing you've ever said. I drive from Florida to California Jeez. all the time, and it's 92, flat to me. I 92 not, podcasts, and that's the dumbest thing you've ever said. I do not go, <laughs> it's a high bar to get over. I, I do not go up and down in a 360-degree angle and all me? that stuff about gravity. <laughs> Have you looked outside of Atlanta lately and seen all these buildings? So you mean to tell me that uh, China is under us? China's yes. under us. If you, you keep saying they are under us. That's what they tell you when you're a kid. The world is flat. If you dug straight through your backyard, you can get to China. No, you can't. The world, the world is, flat. is not flat. Yes, it is. We've seen the Earth. No, we haven't seen anything. Yes, you have. You've no, seen it from satellite imagery. Oh, satellite imagery that could be that, that could be drawn and okay. made up. Okay. So here's the audio of the reporter asking Kyrie that exact yes. same question. Oh God. He's an idiot. <laughs> what the fuck? Shit? No, I can't. have you ever heard his rap before? <laughs> Have you ever heard this shit? This is back in the rock. 90s. What's up, Doc? Can we rock? What's up, Doc? Can we rock? What's up, Doc? Can we rock? This is Shaq. What's up, Doc? Cha, 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 cha. What's up, hard to hoop? With the Fushnikins. Remember the Fushnikins? Wait, that was his rap name? No, it was a group called the Fushnikins, and Shaq is rapping with a group called the Fushnikins. It's not good. It's I know, not it's good. terrible. 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 Yeah. And, and that guy that was with on the show with Shaq, he's my hero. Awesome. That is the stupidest thing you've ever <laughs> 92 <laughs> podcasts. Like and that's like the definitively calling to Shaq said. stupid. He's got some balls, man. That's awesome. All right, lastly, uh, last two here in the What the Fuck News Knocker. Um, now, I'm when it comes to bullfighting, Knocker, mm-hmm. I have no sympathy for the people that are doing the bullfighting. I'm Absolutely. all for the bull. If I the am bull all get for you, the bull. I am rooting for the bull. Yeah, I am all for the bull at right. this point, Knock. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, Renee, get this uh, ready to go for me. Um, a Mexican bullfighter, Knocker. Got hit, got plugged in the butt by an angry six eleven uh, hundred pound bull's horn knocker oh. okay. right in the anus. Check this out; it went in his anus. Oh. What the fuck is that, knocker? Wow, and I thought my prostate That's, exam was painful. <laughs> that should be on. His name is had a bad yeah. Ball. Knocker, it's Antonio Romero. It says here, uh, as described here from Google, says the horn was very very serious. A uh, very se- a severe uh, lesion in the anorectal region. Yes. A horn of very much energy that completely destroys the anal sphincter and very seriously damages the rectum. Oh. <sighs> but you know what? What the fuck? But you know what? Rectum. Have you had a finger Daniel up your ass? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, more than a finger up his ass. He a had a horn up his ass. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. What the fuck? And who knows what that horn's been? Right. <laughs> yeah, he's, he better. Yeah, he's, he better get shot. So, knocker, seriously, you took. <laughs> I'm trying to pass it. I tried to like move on. <laughs> We're gonna get the I break. Mean, really? Roll the roll the break. Really? I, can't, I, don't, I can't continue after that. We need to regroup. <laughs> I'm thinking of things in my head. I'm getting pictures. Right. right? Visuals we just don't need prior oh to God. leaving. Even I guess that's what you have Trojan Magnums for, right? <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Get me out to break. I said get me out oh, to sorry, break music. Going, he's on his phone. We're going, we're going right. right now. Knocker, right. he's not allowed to smoke marijuana <laughs> on right? this show anymore. I can see right? pictures from the... Okay, Knocker, can you tell how far I'm away from his screen, right? Uh-huh. These pictures are literally maybe half a yeah, centimeter tall. Right. And I can see him better than he can. Right. Yeah. I think, I, I think he, that's some, that calls for some Alcatraz condoms right there. That's what I'm saying. Some Alcatraz condoms. <laughs> I'm still disturbed from Knocker's comment. We'll be back after this.